was handy. What's good with everybody? It's your player partner, Mr. HD3, often imitated, but never, ever, ever duplicated. Back once again with this Sunday conversation style video, all right? So earlier this week, Nate Robinson signed a deal with the Denver Nuggets, all right? And I know everyone on YouTube knows me for being an avid Nate Robinson fan, and I know a lot of people who watch my Nate Robinson videos are Nate Robinson fans themselves. So I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that Nate just switched teams and I want to give my opinion about the situation and then in the comments section I want to know what you guys feel about his new signing with the Denver Nuggets all right so so I ain't gonna lie yo like this is just my raw real opinion about the situation on Monday uh, July 22nd that's when they reportedly said that Nate is about to reach a deal with the Denver Nuggets and then this past Friday he actually made it official and he signed a two-year contract with them now this whole ordeal of the free agency this summer and just watching how Nate has been handled by teams by different GMs it really left a bad taste in my mouth and then on Monday when I heard that he's possibly signing with the Denver Nuggets I was just like livid I was like oh hell no nah. This is a whack ass move and the reason why I thought about it I had several reasons for feeling the way I felt but as the week progressed I kind of realized that you know what this is a, a good move and I'm I'm a Nate Robinson supporter I'm a fan of his so whatever he does I'm, I'm with it but the reason why I didn't like it is because the way the NBA GMs were handling Nate like he was just some loser like a just a trash player and he's not a trash player he brings value to any ball club he's coming off arguably the best season of his career he's been in the league for about eight and eight years now and he had the best season he was single-handedly the star of the playoffs I mean the round one was about Steph Curry but then after that it was all about Nate they had mad publicity mad commercials featuring Nate Robinson he was the guy to watch during the playoffs and I mean in my opinion it almost was a bigger storyline far as Nate going off the way he did as opposed to Miami winning a second ring because they were expected to do it if that makes any sense and Nate is clearly in the prime of his career they say the NBA prime age is from 27 and 32 and Nate is 29 so this is what made me feel that that decision to go to Denver Nuggets wasn't really the best decision earlier on in this week is because I felt that Nate was in his prime he doesn't need to waste the next two years on a team that's not really going to benefit not really going to make it to the the playoffs so on and so forth I felt that during this time in his career he should be on a championship contender team either in the west or east I really wish he would have stayed with the Chicago Bulls and or came back to the Oakland Warriors and the reason why he's not a bull is because of financial reasons they're locked in with Kurt Heinrich they have Derrick Rose so on and so forth and they would have loved to bring Nate back but you know they couldn't really afford it and I just really feel like jaded by this though because it's like Nate Robinson he gives so much heart so much effort so much passion on the NBA court and he produces numbers like this is he has value and then when it's time for him to sign it's like uh well whatever I mean if you want to sign you can sign no one really wants you type of deal and that's not really what it should be about I mean Nate his contract was a two-year contract worth 4.3 million dollars and I really feel that Nate Robinson is that offensive spark plug kind of like J.R. Smith in New York and J.R. Smith recently was a free agent he re-signed with the Knicks he signed a four-year deal I think worth about 24 24.7 million and I feel that Nate should have got the same type of deal he should have got some security with the multi-year contract a four-year contract at least worth four million dollars per year so he got like a four-year deal worth 20 million maybe 25 with a sentence and I think he's deserving of that that's four million dollars is the mid-level contract for veterans he's a proven veteran he's been in the league he's not a knucklehead and early on in Nate's career he has got a bad rep of being a bad teammate or being a nuisance in the locker room and and even till to this day people are saying GMs are saying the reason why they didn't want to sign Nate is because his personality wears on the locker room like he he's a practical jokester you know what I mean so he plays too many games per se but I mean he has fun and I'm sorry if someone wants to have fun or plays practical jokes and he's productive like that doesn't merit him not being on a ball club like because dude is annoying like that's 
man that makes no sense at all but so early in the week i was really pissed because i felt that nate deserved a better deal on a better team per se but later towards the week i realized that yo this is a good signing because the denver nuggets is going to be an exciting brand of basketball they're going to remind me of my golden state warriors play style they're going to be high tempo they got but they point guards right now they got ty lawson andre miller uh, the young rookie they got from i think virginia tech his name's eric green then they got nate my prediction is i think you know andre miller he's 37 years old he was George Carl guy. Brian Shaw's there. He's going to get moved. So Andre Miller's probably going to get traded. Then Ty Lawson is, and Nate and then Eric Green. So I think Ty Lawson is, is definitely going to be a starter. Nate is going to back up Ty. They're probably going to be on the backcourt at the same time in given situations. And then Eric Green is going to be the prospect that they bring up. So, I mean, with that said, it's going to be a good look for Nate. But I just really feel that paying Nate, Nate is worth more than $2 million a year. And, and they're just getting a bargain. And I'm not being unreasonable. I mean, if you really, all right, let's put this in context. So the last NBA 2K official roster update, right? Nate Robinson was rated at 83 overall. Do you know how many people that is rated less than at 83 overall makes more than $2 million? Like that makes no sense. I mean, granted, yeah, Nate is small in statue, but he's big in heart. And sometimes he could be a defensive liability if he gets back down or post up, you know, in the low post. But how often do guards post people up i mean if you're not chauncey billups or you know darren williams like who how many guards actually have a post game you know what i mean and he is a defensive minded type of guy like he played defense for the washington huskies on the college football level so he was a defensive back so he knows how to intercept lanes how to read passes so on and so forth and check out my nate robinson underdog mix for his defensive highlights all right you know what i'm saying so dude has the heart he doesn't you know i mean if i was a gm i want a guy like nate that's gonna on my team to kind of lead the surge of the second unit and i mean i don't understand why more teams really weren't interested in Nate. but but enough of what i think about it like let me know what you guys think in the comment section at the end of this video i'm gonna let Stephen a smith speak on why he felt nate robinson got the deal he got all right so leave your comments let me know what you think nate is a denver nugget i'll catch you on the next one come back tomorrow i'm gonna have some ncaa road to glory for you all right peace i'll catch you on the next one uh -huh. our way to minuses and i think I i'm willing to go as far as to say this this uh, i cover the nba and i know a lot a whole lot of knuckleheads far worse than nate robinson mm -hmm. this dude gets a bad rap and people are messing with him and messing with his money because of it and i don't like it he doesn't deserve it most of the dudes in the league can't shine his shoes they don't give his effort they don't give his energy they don't have his heart they don't play as well as he's playing i'm not saying he's perfect but the kid can play and he brings the kid in the game out in him and it galvanizes guys around him i think a lot should be said about that i'm not saying he's perfect but Nate Robinson, to me, has gotten a bad rap. It hey, really has. I don't were, like that. If he were as good or as great as you're making a case for, he would still be a Chicago I, Bull. They no, would have no, figured no, it out. No, that's money. Okay, you've got, but, but you just, you're you're locked it. in with Kirk Heinrich. You've got Derrick Rose coming back. Good? You've got, you, you just you got somebody. Mike Dunley V. Jr. Mm -hmm. you got a whole bunch of stuff. Skip, come on, man. This NBA climate with that luxury tax mm -hmm. being far more punitive, skip. That's money. Trust me. Come on, man. All right, guys. It's time for our final take.